thank you very much. Drop my space dude in. Okay, didn't see that one coming. That's pretty interesting. Good. So my name is Dennis Elgard. I represent Gumspace, a Danish company, and we'll tell you a little bit about the company, about the background, and also uh, some of the products coming up this year and some of our activities in in 2015. Uh, we heard earlier this morning that there was a Japanese uh, satellite being one of the first CubeSats back in 2003, and that was the world's first CubeSat. Uh, most of the people behind the company Gumspace were also involved in the Oba University project, which launched the same year, uh, the very first CubeSat in Europe. So that was also back in 2003. So a lot of the um, engineers behind the company uh, started working on uh, CubeSats uh, in the early 2000s. Uh, the company was formed in 2007. So in a few years, we'll have a 10-year anniversary. Um, and we've been involved in uh, space hardware production uh, and customers in, in more than 45 countries around the world. My main area of expertise is uh, Asia Pacific. We also have a sales uh, guy taking care of Europe, uh, US and uh, South America, Africa. Um, most of our manufacturing, you see our facility here is mainly a developing site. We do a little bit of uh, testing in-house. Otherwise, everything else is uh, outsourced to uh, partners. Uh, so building the PCB and making every all, all the uh, mounting of the components is done by partners. So we try to keep everything as automated as possible uh, for quality issues, of course, and making sure that all of our partners have AS91 uh, uh, qualification. So who do we serve? Well, it's a lot of uh, products go to uh, ESA and, and NASA, uh, so some of the main uh, uh, authorities in, in space, of course, but we also serve a lot of um, universities all over the world. So technical universities in 35 con uh, countries. And we've sold a lot of products. Actually, I'm, I'm, I missed yesterday uh, uh cake at, at uh, Gumspace, because I was here, and that was uh, to celebrate that we've made 500 products, sold and made and manufactured 500 products this year already, compared to last year where we sold uh, 230 products, or 320 products, uh, that's quite an increase, so we're actually expecting to hit uh, about a thousand products this year, a product being an onboard computer or an antenna or radio, something like that. So uh, a very big growth in, in selling products. We have now a representation in uh, 14 different countries, including Japan, where we work together with NASAM. And I have a, and my represent is also here uh, outside with the booth. Um, Satellite-wise, we've had GOMEX-1 in operation since uh, November 2013. Uh, the main payload there was an ADS-B uh, antenna and receiver tracking uh, airplane traffic. Uh, ran successfully for about six months with the payload. Then there was a single uh, failure on the SD card, which meant that uh, we couldn't get any more data on the uh, ADS-B antenna. Uh, but the satellite and all the main functions of the satellite are still working uh, beautifully. So there's, uh, uh, the actual satellite bus is uh, working nicely. <coughs> so GOMEX-1 was a uh, 2U CubeSat. Um, and I think I've mentioned everything I should hear within the 10 minutes. Um, You'll also notice that uh, uh, I've skipped GOMEX-2 because that was on the Antares rocket last fall. So that kind of went up in smoke. Um, GOMEX-3 was supposed to be on the SpaceX rocket. So fortunately, we didn't go on that one. Um, we're 
expected to be launched on the uh, HTV rocket later this year. This will be flying as a slightly larger satellite. We'll be flying our uh, new ADSB uh, receiver, an L-band receiver also for SATCOM signal interception, and an X-band transmitter with the uh, capability of a three megabit uh, downlink. Something we'll see uh, flying very soon. I can see in the time it's also flying. Most of our products, as of today, power a lot of uh, different power systems. Uh, we also have our uh, onboard computer, which is the old Nanomind uh, 8712D, very successful product. But we're coming up with a, a range of uh, new products I'd like to uh, skip through um, and just skip that and go to the next generation. Here our focus is on size making uh, things smaller, uh, giving the payload much more room in the actual satellite. In GOMEX 3, we have the complete bus, including reaction wheels, is in just about one U. So that's including batteries, uh, uh, power management, uh, onboard computer, uh, and reaction wheels, everything else. So extremely small form factor. Everything is based on this uh, motherboard idea where we can mount four different PCBs on it. So you, in this case, it's an onboard computer and uh, a receiver and, and a transmitter. New Nanomine coming up based on the AVR32 uh, microcontroller. Um, everything inside you really need for an onboard computer, uh, also for redundancy, uh, multiple interfaces, uh, I2C, UART, CAN bus, um, 32 kilobyte of FRAM, 32 megabit of uh, megabit of uh, SDRAM, and various uh, inputs and outputs. Also coming up is a new uh, Nanocom uh, AX100, which is a uh, uh, receiver, both uh, supporting UHF and uh, VHF. Again, multiple interfaces for re redundancy. Data range uh, up to uh, 115 uh, kilobit per second. And everything is mounted on this duct where we can mount the four PCBs. Uh, you can also, we've also uh, made room for a GPS uh, module uh, from Novatel. We also have a dedicated ADCS version where we have some more uh, actuators uh, and also support for reaction wheels. So that's a dedicated version for, for ADCS. Here at the uh, booth, I'm also showing uh, a new device that, that we're also flying on GOMEX 3, which is a uh, software-defined radio. So basically uh, an advanced multi-node uh, communication system for uh, monitoring, uh, uh, analysis of uh, spectrum. Uh, so basically going from 70 megahertz up to uh, 6 gigahertz. And, uh, and it's reprogrammable in, in orbit. So you can test out various uh, reception scenarios based on a very powerful uh, FPGA. Lastly, uh, I just introduced to you our new uh, base station or ground station, uh, GOMEX uh, 100. So a 19-inch rack where everything is included. All you need outside is uh, a laptop, a PC, where you run your control from, the uh, rotor, is not included and of course the antenna and that's all you need to connect to this. Uh, inside it has uh, two radios uh, for polarization diversity so you have one on uh, horizontal and one on vertical minimizing uh, um, uh, uh, packet loss and we support both the uh, CubeSat protocol and the AX25 is, is coming up now we we'll also uh, have this in a lab version, which is a uh, slightly uh, simpler degrade version. Of course, there's no amplifier on that, uh, no need to amplify it to uh, 20 watt, and only uh, one radio, so basically a, a simpler system. Okay, so that's it, that's it from me, introducing uh, GOMSpace and some of our products. I think if, if you want to come out and, and talk to me at the booth and, and have a look at our products, uh, and
material you have. Thank you very much.